комбинат дым пошел черный. Вижу, вижу, да. А вон он летит. Потом мне перекину. Поехали быстрее, потом сфоткаешь. Поехали быстрее, пизду разворачивать. US aims to prevent Iran and Hamas from making money in Asia. The United States is concerned about the growing efforts of Iran and Hamas terrorists to raise funds in Southeast Asia, according to Bloomberg. The agency notes that this week US officials are meeting with oil industry executives, regulators and financial institutions in Singapore and Malaysia. The United States wants to tighten restrictions on Iranian oil exports and limit Russia's ability to finance its war against Ukraine. Bloomberg writes that the United States has expressed concern that Russia continues to receive critical components through Southeast Asia using transfers to mask the final destination. These include components used in warfare. The US team also insisted on taking measures to fight against money laundering and raised the issue of the risks associated with the old vessels of Iran's so-called dark fleet. Iran finances Hamas terrorists, so Washington is trying to cut off the revenue streams of both Hamas and Iran. In January, the United Kingdom and the United States imposed sanctions on key figures in the financial networks of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. The United States and the United Kingdom decided to impose new sanctions on Iran in response to Tehran's recent attack on Israel. Additionally, the US has added five companies with multiple jurisdictions to the sanctions list, which supply components for the production of steel to the Iranian company Khuzestan Steel Company. Recently, Iran attacked Israel with missile and drones, and Western countries helped repel the attack. Immediately afterwards, there was talk of imposing new sanctions against Iran. First, this was announced by the White House and then by the EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell. NATO state ready to send its troops to Ukraine. Lithuania is prepared to deploy its soldiers on Ukrainian soil for a training mission, Financial Times reported, citing Prime Minister Ingrida Simonite. French President Emmanuel Macron floated the idea of having NATO boots on the ground in Ukraine in February, arguing that nothing should be excluded to prevent a Russian victory in the conflict. The Lithuanian government has similarly stated that there should be no red lines in efforts to aid Kiev. Speaking to the British newspaper, Simonite said she has parliamentary permission to deploy soldiers in Ukraine, but has not received a request from Kiev. Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal told Canadian media last week that his nation would be glad to see Western intervention if the time comes. Lithuania is among the Western nations that regularly resort to rhetoric Russia regards as belligerent. Last month, one of its ambassadors published a post on social media which implied that the strategic Crimean bridge would soon be destroyed, one of Kiev's key goals. The comment followed U.S. approval of $61 billion in Ukraine-related spending and the revelation that it had supplied more mid-range ATACMS missiles to the country. This week, the Russian military announced a surprise drill to test its ability to deploy non-strategic nuclear weapons. Moscow said it was a response to threats from Western officials, including Macron and British Foreign Secretary David Cameron, who told the media last week that Ukraine has the right to use arms donated by the UK to strike targets deep inside Russia. In her interview, Simonite said she was not concerned about Moscow's reaction to the possible Lithuanian deployment. Every second week you hear that somebody will be nuked. She remarked, the Prime Minister reiterated that Vilnius was keen to help Ukraine to ensure that it has the potential to renew its armed forces. She denied that her government was considering deportations of Ukrainian citizens since forcing them to go home to fight Russia would not be legal. <laughs>